Let's talk about how you can get one of these. Hi, my name is Kaiser Clark. I am a cybersecurity professional, more specifically a penetration tester. I have almost six years of experience in the field, as well as 11 certifications and a Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity Management and Policy. Hit the like button and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. I'm confident the information in this video is not only going to help you pass a CompTIA Security Plus exam, but future exams that you will take in your cybersecurity career. When it comes to passing the Security Plus exam, there are three core ingredients, one side dish, and one secret sauce that significantly contributes to your success on the exam. We'll talk about the secret sauce towards the end of the video, so make sure you stick around to find out what it is. The first core ingredient, also the first step in any certification that I do, is a video series. When it comes to video series, there's two platforms that I recommend, CBT Nuggets and IT Pro TV. You honestly can't go wrong with either one, so just pick one and stick with it through its entirety. The CBT Nuggets course is 31 hours, and IT Pro TV course is almost 29 hours. CBT Nuggets costs $59 a month, and IT Pro TV costs $39 a month. I can personally vouch for all the instructors in both courses because I've taken multiple courses from each instructor, so I can confidently recommend either one of these courses. The second core ingredient, also the second thing I do when it comes to any certification that I complete, is read a book cover to cover. It's worth noting that you can read the book before you do the video series. It doesn't matter which order you do those two, just make sure you do each of them. You can pick up the latest version of the book that I read, which was the Get Certified Get Ahead by Daryl Gibson on Amazon right now for $47.49. I'll put a link in the channel description. Another option is the Security Plus Study Guide published by Cybex by Mike Chapel and David Seidel for $39.99 on Amazon. Once again, I'll put a link in the channel description. There are other options available to you for purchase on Amazon. However, I can't recommend them because I haven't read books from the other authors. No matter which book you choose, there is one strategy that I highly recommend that you do. So most books have a pre-assessment exam at the beginning. I highly recommend taking that pre-assessment test before you read the book so you can assess your current level of knowledge on the topic. Once you complete the assessment answer, you want to grade yourself and then you want to read the explanation to all the answers that you got correct as well as the ones you got incorrect. After that, you want to start reading the book. Most books have end of chapter assessments. My strategy is to take the end of chapter assessment quiz and then read the chapter. When you do this, you're going to find out what you know and what you don't know about the topic. And while you read, you can heavily focus on your areas of weakness. Now I want to start taking a bite out of our side dish, which is flashcards. So if you follow my advice and got either the CBT Nuggets course or the IT Pro TV course, you'll get access to flashcards. Now it doesn't matter what course you choose because both courses offer the same exact flashcards. They'll give you a couple hundred or a few hundred flashcards and I recommend going through them all at least one time. The strategy that I use is I go through every flashcard until I get them all correct at least once. The third and final core ingredient is practice tests. Just like the flashcards, the course that you purchase will give you access to a few hundred practice questions. I recommend going through all the practice questions that they give you so you can solidify your knowledge on the exam topics. I also highly recommend picking up a dedicated practice exam book. As always, I highly recommend Cybex. And you can also pick up this one, but it's a little out of date because it's SYO601 and not 701. So it's actually for the last version of CompTIA Security Plus. So I don't recommend it now, but if they do come out with a 701, I definitely recommend this one over this one because this book right here is the hardest practice test book that you will ever find and is way harder than regular exam. And if you can answer these correctly, you will pass the exam easy peasy. Overall, your goal should be to answer at least 1000 practice questions and you should aim for about 1300 practice questions. Simply put, the more practice questions you answer, the more prepared you will be. I recommend to shoot for a 70% or higher in your practice test. If you are getting 70% or higher in your practice test, then you are more than ready for the real exam because the practice exams are generally harder than the real exam in my experience. Do not get discouraged if you're getting 40 or 50% on your practice exams because that is pretty normal. That's usually what I do when I first do practice tests. So don't worry about your first few practice exams. Only worry about the last three or four practice exams. If you're getting over 70% in your last three or four practice exams, then you are ready to go. Now let's talk about the secret sauce. When it comes to the CompTIA Security Plus or any exam or just life in general, the key ingredient to success is hard work, discipline, focus, and motivation. Now that sounds really cliche, but it's the truth. I have seen many people fail the CompTIA Security Plus as well as other certification exams because they lack this essential ingredient. 
I get asked all the time on how I pass so many certifications in such a small amount of time. The main thing is you don't want to find time to study, you want to make time to study. Because if you try to find time to study, then you won't find it. One of the best things you can do is to make a study schedule and stick to it. Try to study every single day for at least a couple hours a day and do your best not to skip any days. Anything worth doing requires sacrifice, so you're going to have to cut back on video games, Netflix, sports watching, any other kind of activity that is not a good use of your time. Overall, the CompTIA Security Plus requires about 100 hours of study and takes about two to four months of consistent study. Furthermore, it's okay if none of this makes sense off the rip because none of this comes naturally to anybody. This doesn't come naturally to me and most other people in the field. The reason why I know so much about cybersecurity is because I took the time to study it and learn it and I actually enjoyed the process. Moral of the story, it is going to be a long and challenging ride. However, if you stick with it, you will learn the material and you will excel in this field as long as you commit to lifelong learning. If you're serious about advancing your cybersecurity career, check out this video where I share my path from sysadmin to pen tester.